folks, how you doing? Welcome back. It's Charlie. It is Wednesday morning, April 26th, I believe, 2023, and we are back here in Hollywood. We are actually here on uh, Sunset and uh, Bronson. We are here in front of the KTLA Studios, well actually the Sunset Bronson Studios. Because yesterday there was a kind of a bit of a holdup of a traffic over here. Let's uh, turn around. Right over here, this is Bronson. Bronson. And we are currently on Sunset. This was the topic and the chatter yesterday at KTLA Studios. Apparently some uh, young man climbed up here uh, on the tower yesterday and was just kind of situated on the platform over here and he was over on the other side with an electric guitar kind of playing acoustic this building over here uh, has a uh, bit of a history I will put link down below but uh, we Kind of commonly called the uh, the White House here locally. This is the I believe the oldest news or the oldest station here in uh, Southern California and in Hollywood, which is actually uh, when I was a kid, this was one of my favorite uh, channels because not just me, but for a lot of kids also because this uh, this station over here, KTLA Five was actually the first ones to incorporate helicopters uh, nationwide, I believe, and reporting news and everything locally. So this is definitely uh, a local's favorite here in Southern California, especially here locally in, in Hollywood. It's a great history. Always, always cartoons at any time. In the morning before you go to school and in the afternoon when uh, you get off of school, always cartoons and Saturday morning I think uh, mom and dad which is probably now considered in the in the area of grandpa or great-grandma and grandpa uh, watching their kids all day long probably with a bowl of cereal and a box of cereal uh, just watching cartoons and everything Saturday mornings were the greatest times for any little kid but we had a bit of a shutdown here all the way from Bronson, all the way over here to the Van Ness, I believe. And, uh, it was kind of cuckoo and stuff like that, but we still don't really know, or they haven't really said anything about what the reasons were for this gentleman. He was up there protesting, maybe? We don't know exactly. Uh, it wasn't until about 9 o'clock in the evening where the gentleman... Uh, he, he got himself down. The firefighters had a uh, one of those airbags for uh, high ho uh, for high places in case he fell. He wouldn't hurt himself that much, but he ended up bringing himself down. The uh, firefighters uh, had a ladder down there, and, and you could just see him coming down. And then he was just taken in. Um, he didn't put up a fight or anything. You know, we still don't know. He just peacefully came down, wasn't really doing anything. He was on top of the uh, sign and uh, just kind of strumming away with his guitar. And he had a banner, he had a, his own banner that he made and it says, uh, Free Billie Eilish. Which is kind of funny because she was in town, I think she was at the Kimmel Studios uh, being interviewed and stuff like that. So really don't know what it was. Maybe it was something that uh, he was just venting, or maybe it was a PR stunt. I get presumption, many presumptions out there. Still don't know. Maybe we'll find out later today, or if maybe at the time that I'm filming this right now. But it just got me thinking and stuff, and I wanted to come down here again. You know, I've been uh, totally ad nauseum talking about how the uh, 
homeless situation here is has been increasing a little bit here and there more especially in Pasadena though we did get a bit of a good news here in Pasadena and I will speak about that in a bit also link down below so here is Van Ness here is Van Ness this um, was the Netflix is it still the Netflix yes it is still the Netflix this is all this is owned by Netflix all of this and the studios uh, going back down that away by Nextstar Productions. There's the big hole. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much everything you see on TV and everything is all located right around here. CNN Studios way up there, that tower right there. That's CNN Studios. We did, we used to, I'm trying to orient myself the freeway is right over there there was an icon um the uh ktla antenna which was kind of horizontally laid down and you could always see it as you're going up and down the freeway it was kind of an iconic thing back in the day when i was a kid look at that big boulder oh abc yeah this is I know a lot of folks are probably like, uh, oh, Charlie, you're so lucky. Yeah, it's just an everyday thing here. See, just like uh, weaving in and out of cars. Sunset Studios. I think there were, just before or during the lockdown, they were still constructing. This is really kind of cool, actually. All of this, look at this. And just even going further down and Gower, the old Gower Studios is down over there and some more. Plus not to mention we have uh, quite a few defunct uh, former studios that have long since been turned into kind of like uh, Oh, kind of like smaller businesses or whatever. I was kind of actually surprised. I was coming down uh, Bronson over there. There's a lot of uh, really, really good old, old apartments. Quite a bit of vacancies and stuff like that. A bit on the disheveled side, which is kind of sad. I saw about a, a couch that was all burned up and everything. It's, it's sad. This used to be such a great, great area to come. Even coming around here forever, traffic was was really cool. Uh, families, tourists alike would always come down here. Always in front of the studios and checking out and taking pictures and stuff like that. Uh, the old fashioned kind, you know, where you had to actually take your, your film and get it developed. Like those, that's a cute little building, right? For rent. But yeah, this is cool. I love this building, though. This is such an awesome building. All I'm thinking of is Saturday mornings, cereal, watching cartoons, and during the weekday, like I said, in the morning, before you go to school, cartoons. When you get out of school, cartoons. This was like <laughs> everything. Sundays, maybe a little bit of, uh, I think they used to show like golf later on in the afternoon, but all day long, pretty much up until 12 o'clock, there was like cartoons on Saturday mornings for kids and everything. Crew. So as you can see, how I guess managed, he climbed his way up there. That uh, is just giving me a lot of heebie-jeebies as it is. He was kind of like walking around that little catwalk right there. See that right there? And the fire department, they quickly respond. They were here quickly and everything. And here they had the, uh, the mattress or the stunt mattress, whatever. Like, kind of like they use in the, movie in the movie studios where you see the stuntman 
falling off a building and lean and and landing on here so they had that but he was forever who pigeon butt he was over here and he made his way right about to this section over here and was literally he was just literally right about here legs dangling he's strumming his guitar and underneath him where you see the Je uh, jessica or the lou parker right there he had his banner banner there and it said uh free billy eilish still don't really know what the hell that was about but as i said i'm sure that'll be revealed at some time today and the studios continue all the way down as i said we have a bunch of old studios that are just lined up on the side street. This is where everything, where all the main productions and stuff that you saw would happen. And of course, Hollywood. Come up to one of my favorite eateries. We used to have these all over the Southland. Now the closest one for me is here. Arby's Roast Beef. Actually, really quick, after my first marriage, uh, when I first moved, after we got married, uh, or before I got married, when we were still engaged, I had moved to Wisconsin for a job transfer. When we got engaged, I told her, well, I'm going to quit my job here in, in California, stuff like that, because I don't think we're going to be, and even then it was pretty expensive. I was living in North Hills at the time. Yeah, I was living in North Hills and working in Hollywood. Down over here, we're uh, by the farmer's market over here. So, and she's like, okay, yeah, you know, you know, the greatest thing is, <coughs> excuse me, is of comfort and joy, and you know that it's going to be really, really promising, is after you propose and you make plans and stuff and you move out and stuff like that. Now, this is asking a lot of your future wife-to-be to leave her family here. Being born and raised here in California, Pasadena, uh, to be able to pick up and move almost 3,000 miles away to Wisconsin, the central part of uh, the U.S., she said, "Yeah." So I, I, I ended up coming out to uh, to Wisconsin. I worked over here in Wisconsin for what three, four months. Came back to California, Pasadena. Got married. Uh, got the U-Haul truck. Got the flatbed so we can tow because I insisted on towing the Toyota RAV so we wouldn't put any miles on the uh, odometer and I made that and even dad at the time said well you know that's a good idea I go just in case you know we decide to get a bigger car and we have a family and we want to use the uh, Toyota as a trade-in or just to sell the, the Toyota that we wouldn't have to deduct those mileages driving cross-country I go I just want those miles to be original from California and once we get to to Wisconsin those miles will continue to roll over so we did that I was a uh, kind of a kind of an interesting move but nonetheless we did that and then when we got to Wisconsin in Stevens Point wouldn't you know it just across the street from us we had an Arby's at that time Arby's had already come out with their fresh market sandwiches this place is awesome their roast beef the horsey sauce, the barbecue sauce, you can't beat it. I, you know, I would rather live in one of the smaller apartments, regardless of uh, what kind of financial si situation I would be. Even something like this versus living in something like that. I just, I don't, I don't know why, but I just don't like it. I gotta I really do admit that I miss working out here we were always busy at the print shop uh, we had a lot of uh, contracts and a lot of accounts there's Capitol Records way over there well it's not too far printing for a lot of the studios as I said in the past we uh, we print for the studios we were actually one of the few that were uh, licensed to print uh, movie money 
<clears throat> usually on just regular print once in a great while we were asked to print on uh, the linen now which buying that kind of stock the linen stock you have to actually go through a lot of things you can't just go and request go to Kelly papers and say okay I want linen stock and say yeah I'm just gonna go print you know money because that's considered counterfeiting so you actually had to be kind of I don't know if they still do but you had to be registered to be able to purchase the linen stock to be able to use it now the linen stock isn't just used for money it's also used for uh, for documents uh, some birth certificate you know legal stuff like that so the same stuff that the money is printed off of anybody remember Technicolor This is the old Sunset Gower Studios. Many likes, Little Rascals, Laurel and Hardy, Three Stooges. And actually, this is also part of, I believe, KTLA. Well, this is a lot of filming down here too as well. For shows and movies and stuff still. This is the other reason why. We are down here. I just want to check and see The homeless situation is really going to ex explode. And with the announcement of uh, senility running again, this is just going to get even worse. Really. I did a video yes uh, the other day and I uploaded it on my Rumble account. I will put the link down below for those of you that would wish to look at it. That was definitely my, that's my platform where I can actually vent and not get strict or strucken by YouTube. It's Paramount Studios. Hollywood Media District. This is all right over here. That's the Arc Lake. Sorry, I have my glasses in my mouth. So we're right about over here. Pretty much this is all like Columbia Media. Oh, then this is the old Gower uh, Shopping Center. A lot of history here. It's a Back before I'd say the lockdown, this was actually a really, really pumping. There's a great car wash here that were forever, ever busy. When I was still working here in Hollywood, that car wash in particular was like, everybody would go there. And, and it was not an uncommon thing for folks to see celebrities uh, just even bringing their car over here. And we got the old oh, Luf, Luf, Lucifer's, uh, Lucifer's Pizza. Gower Gulch. What a great little place. Denny's. And actually one of my former employers is over here. Where I got interviewed and hired. When I was homeless. This was in... Was it? When did I last work there? 20... I got that in 2015 or 2016? This is 
so cool, Danny. I kind of like it the old way it was. I don't like this all new I Ikea type of sense. That actually is one of the more fancier sugarfish. The one in uh, Pasadena is nice too. There's some really good eateries now over here. I'm just glad that this place uh, was able to open back up. Smash me, baby. Oh, cart rides, Gower Gulch. The Kicking Crab. BBQ Chicken. Wait, oh, we got the other one. Uh, we have in Pasadena on uh, Colorado. Same dealio. Roy Dale. Hank. Gene. Of the hidden gems here. I'm trying to place what this used to be actually before. I'm trying to remember if this was actually a 50s or a uh, supermarket. I can't really remember now. Where is the Hollywood Palladium? Back in its prime, this was a great venue. Every now and then, that's not to say it still doesn't, it is an active. It's commonly used for a lot of film shoots. And we used to have, back when I was younger, a kid, we used to have a lot of concerts over here, actually. Now that I remember, unfortunately, a period when I was really, really sick. I don't know what the heck I had. Flu, malaria. <laughs> But we had, uh, we came over here to see a concert and stuff like that. One of my, my brothers, uh, his sister, his uh, older sister, was uh, one of the assistants to the band Rat. So we actually, when Rat Out of the Cellar came out, we had the uh, promo copies and they were doing a, a thing over here where they were playing, being featured. So we came over here. It was about a bunch of, uh, maybe five or six of us. We came over here. We were in my car. I think we were in my car. Or my buddy's car. But anyway, we were all geared up. Buzzed and everything. Making our way to go in. And it was happening. This whole place was awesome. Me being the sicky sicky I was at that time. For some reason or another. Now there, as you come around, it kind of comes around this way and then it goes back down that way and the whole center theater is in there there must have been about maybe three doors one on the left one in the center and one in the right and I couldn't stand the music the loudness of the music was really really making me sick so sick that I was puking and I had come out to the hallway to kind of try to just calm down and I was okay. I tried to make my way back into the auditorium and the music was just, the sound was making me ill for some reason. Nah, Charlie, nah, it's the music. No, it was just, it was just overpowering. So I had gone back in and I said, guys, I, I can't, I can't do this. I really can't do this. So I had gone back in the car and I was just sick. Every time I would hear the loud music, I would get nauseated and it would make me want to get sick. I got to see maybe 15, 20 minutes of the show. Uh, the rest of the time, the guys did. 
people still haven't done anything with this place. What the heck, guys? Come on! This was another former venue, another theater. It's been long shuttered and disrepaired. And then they built this ugly... See again, look. See the color scheme? Ugly. This is Sunset Media Center. And there's also the... Uh, is, it, is it over here? The musicians? Oh, no, no, no. The, uh, the film studio. The Hollywood Film Studio over here. Uh, school, actually. So this is Argyle. This is Sunset in Argyle. Bank is kind of an iconic here in California and namely here in Southern California we used to have a whole bunch of these they always stood out we always had the mosaic art the art uh, differed from building to building city to city and location to location but always was uh, pretty pretty strong as I said we, we had a lot of banks around here it was always the wealth and the strength of you know, showing the economy locally and stuff like that. And this was one of the favorites. Now, this building over here, of course, has long transitioned into many, many banking institutions. Uh, home loan savings, uh, USB, Bank of America, Security Pacific, etc., etc. And now, most commonly, Chase. Uh, it's a good thing that at least they left the, the mosaic artwork over there. And always a fountain in front with water water always was uh, associated with uh, financial institutions if you could afford to display water on your property you had finances because even back then water was still an expensive commodity a precious commodity so we are now just uh, south on Vine half a block away off of Sunset been south of uh, Sunset in honestly years used to have a actually we I don't, well I haven't been down over here since I worked for copy masters back shoot 20 years ago we had a lot of accounts down here too uh, Kelly papers was it Kelly papers I think the older Kelly papers is down over here on the left hand side where I used to have to go and pick up stock or make sure that the uh, correct stop was ordered there's mo more of Netflix studios another thing that uh, I used to have to do which is part of my job as the uh, cameraman and the film stripper and the plate maker and the proofer and the color proofer, the press checker, shoot, even, what was it, uh, 98? Now, not, in 98, I was making uh, $10 and, well, I started off at 9.50, and then I got bumped up just before I left to uh, 10 and a quarter. But for, the, for then, that was a lot of money. Could afford rent, could afford anything you know didn't have a car because at the time my roommate had a car and we pretty much would go everywhere you know we'd always do things and stuff like that and if we weren't we weren't doing and partying you know we were always partying with the boss and everything and uh that's when we joined up the amateur bowling league and we'd go off to uh vegas go to sam's town and then we did reno we did the uh the bowling center that I had opened up over there for the AMF Bowling League. Ooh, that is a... Ooh, I get kind of dizzy just looking up. <laughs> There's a whole b &A. Actually, this used to be my bank when I was working down here.
back when uh, we, we were still proud of having paper checks, our credit card, making deposits, filling out the deposit slip, etc., etc., making sure if you're going to make an ATM deposit. You had your slip and everything, all accounted. Hollywood is really, really dilapidated. Now, it was, that's not to say that it wasn't in the process of going down, but most certainly not at the speed that everything has been just tumbling, tumbling down. This here currently is uh, well, still a CNN or the B of A. We're going to be coming up to another classic, iconic building this over here. And once was back in the day, the old Pacific Cinerama Dome. I think it's still shuttered. This beautiful building has been uh... okay real quick the last time I was actually inside it was the premiere of Godzilla 1984 how about that it is such a beautiful venue was it still is iconically it was just <sighs> almost every move one of the movie premieres every movie premiere that was ever coming around and wherever such a movie premiere was happening and stuff like that that were on the screens this was the place to come people would come in on either side but usually the line would come out over here but once the uh, shutter came in they built this ugly ugly freaking eyesore all around it all around it it just it just does not fit uh, actually it doesn't fit period here in Hollywood the architecture I don't even know what they were thinking of but this it just clashes with it clashes with the Cinerama Dome still on Sunset coming up on Ivar this is where the uh, farmers market ends up and bleeds out through Yeah, see, all along over there, there's another big tent. It's sad to see, though. I'm not, it's not that I'm trying to um, make anybody look bad, especially the homeless. Well, let me, let me clarify that. So on the video that I uploaded, I uploaded to Rumble because I, I went off, I'm, I personally, being homeless on several occasions, well, the first time being homeless was when my mom grabbed me and ended up, she ended up leaving my dad because my dad was very, very abusive. And the final straw was when he ended up picking me up, holding me up against the uh, kitchen wall, I remember, in between the stove and the refrigerator. There was a wall back. This was in the house in Maywood. And uh, I don't remember what the argument was, but at first it, yelling back and forth, uh, dad hitting on mom and stuff like that, continuously, continuously. And uh, then it got to the point where he took it out on me again. And I remember he had grabbed me and he had put me, he picked me up. I must've been about maybe three now, I remember that. I, I, I can remember, I, and I know a lot of folks wouldn't believe this, but I know that there's also a lot of folks that have that kind of memory. And I remember he picked me up. I was in my diapers, and with one hand, he had me choking uh, up on the wall, elevated. And in Spanish, I'm going to kill your kid. I'm going to kill your fucking kid. Now, he's my dad, but, you know, and those times, you know, you always, when it comes to the child, you always address the anger as your child you know and it's like that's to make the uh 
the fear and the pain in whatever other spouse is. But, yeah. And it wasn't until after that that he let me go. And I ran, I think, into the bedroom, uh, their bedroom. And uh, as my mom was coming out of the kitchen, and I, and I kind of remember this because I was, I was looking over my shoulder. And I saw that white dish sailing across the room. And as my mom turned around, it struck her and hit her and kind of split her skull open. Or not her skull, but her scalp open. So I mean, that's when we left. That's, that was my first experience, homelessness, for several months. Uh, a couple of months going from school to school all over Los Angeles, Lawndale, Hawthorne, Inglewood. Uh, L.A. school district, that was like the worst. And then finally settling in El Segundo. Now with that, when we got into El Segundo, I don't know if it was that my mom found it to the point where it was so well secluded that he had no idea that, you know, we would be living in such a city or that he gave up. Still don't know to the day. I don't think we ever really got a clear answer, but you know, that's, that's it. So when it comes to homelessness, I don't appreciate what our government and what the huge metropolitan mayors are doing. All they're doing is using sympathy. Oh, look at the homeless. Look what the, look what the, the, the MAGAs have done. Look at all this. And, Blaming everything on the, on the right side of the aisle. When in truth, they're the ones that are doing all this. They're using race, they're using sex, they're using economics. They're using the homeless and putting this whole blame Everything's still in the state of our country. We're still blaming Trump and everybody on the right side of the aisle. Me, I'm on the right side of the aisle. Though sometimes on yesterday's video, I said, I don't, I sometimes get so angry and so frustrated with all this that when I'm venting, I sound like a staunch Democratic Karen. No offense to you, Karen. But that's how I feel. This was also, uh, at one time, this was Sammy's camera. And then after Sammy's camera was starting to, to close some of their stores down. We still have a Sammy's camera in uh, Pasadena for you photographers and videographers and anything that's in communication. Sammy's camera is like one of the best here. And then this became Amoeba Records which is down over there when we were at Record Day on Earth Day on last Saturday. And now it's, I don't know what it is, but other than what you see, we got a lot of great murals over here too. There's another poor person. See, this is common, man. This, this shouldn't be like this, you know? And with uh, Mr. Senile's announcement, if you notice that his announcement was first him, and then everything else was audible. Here and there, maybe a second or a half with a word or two, a very short phrase. It's because he cannot be in front of a camera to completely finish a sentence, a paragraph, let alone a thought. Obviously, exiting off a stage is also problematic. Doesn't know whether to go uh, left or right, right or left, back or forth. And he stands there. Now, this person is going to be in charge of our country for another four years. What you see out here on the streets is only going to get progressively worse. And I do mean progressive as they stand worse. Everything that we've already encountered has just gotten so fucked up that it's going to get even worse. We're going to be continually to be divided economically, even more so. We're going to be divided sexually. We're also going to be divided racially, even more so. You think this is bad? So here was a former uh, Jack in the Box where we used to go. 
my old shop, my old job is over there. Uh, there used to be, where is it? Oh, right here where that young lady is standing. This used to be a killer Thai shop. They had the greatest uh, uh, iced tea, Thai iced tea. And honestly enough, during that time with the whole Lewinsky and everything, Monica lived out here. This was, <laughs> this was Monica's favorite restaurant, this Thai restaurant and stuff like that. And she would be walking down, even, even after everything was starting to come out, she was still kind of walking around and I got a chance to see her and meet her and stuff. Seemed like a pleasant young lady, but then again, infatuation at that age, well, you know, not defending anything. Both parties are definitely, oh, I miss the tacos. Everybody makes their own choices, right? What the heck is that? Whatever it is. It's got that same ugly color scheme. I'm sure they'll probably incorporate a little bit of dark tones on it, but everything is always white with a dark accent of gray, maybe light earthy brown tone. Uh, definitely black is the most common out. It's just, everything is just ugly. Everything nowadays, they're building like that building over there, just black and white, all new buildings. That's the former, uh, oh God, I can't remember. It'll come to me at the last moment. But everything is, that's being built is just ugly in color, you know? Just black and white, monotone. <laughs> you have a good day, bro. This is Silverman's uh, studio. It's just a homeless person I was chatting with. Silverman Studios now, Copy Masters used to be right over here where the barber shop is, right there in the corner. Uh, we used to, well, they, I say we because, you know, I worked there. But we used to own that entire building and everything. And uh, over here on the left, that was kind of like the offices and stuff like that. Uh, the estimating room. The other side was the main office. And then towards the back is where we had, we had two pre uh, presses. We had, uh, I want to say we had two mealy presses, or it was, yeah, it was two mealy presses, two sheet feds. And we had two AB dicks, both with uh, T heads also. And then after that, Silverman Studios came in. Now, Silverman Studios is always hopping. This, this, they do a lot. They, they do a lot of Nike and sports uh, commercials over here. And then when Silverman came, we had the contract over here at Copy Masters, so we were always printing over here. God, we were so busy. I miss that. Now it's just a Floyd's barber shop and whatever. Oh, it's a little music store over here. And over on the back is a great little record shop. So on Sundays, this is where the uh, farmer's market comes. There's Danny Trejos. This used to be a, uh, oh, they used to have a great Salvadorian restaurant right there. And they had the most delicious pupusas. Yum. Oh, copy masters, I miss you. We also had a shop cat that lived here in the shop. I can't remember the name of the doggone cat. But the cat was always cool. Interacted with some of the customers and the clients and stuff like that. This was just such a happening, lively place. Uh, is it the Formosa? No, not the Formosa. Shoot, I can't remember. A little bar over here. Oh, it was Babyface. See, now it came to Babyface is the one that bought that building over there and he bought that building for his wife. That was what, 20, 21 years ago? Something like that? Because we did uh, uh, some print jobs for Babyface. We also did uh, Little Kim. We did a lot of the hip hop artists uh, from the New York scene that were coming out here to get their contracts, and we did a lot. I cannot tell you, the mainstay of what we did here also was headshots. So back here, back down that way, was my dark room. My camera room and plate making room was over here to the left. 
uh, my light table and my stripping uh, was over on this side over here. And from this forward on, we had the presses. Well, actually, we had the, the two AB dicks over here with the T heads. And then back over here, we had the uh, two Mealy presses. This is the record shot now. And this part was still our property. And this was the back door. <laughs> We're very much, if we had a long run, we'd open up, especially in the summertime and Saturdays and Sundays where we come in when the shop was closed, we'd have to do the extra runs. All of this. This used to actually be the alleyway over here. Locally, we, uh, what is it? Um, oh God, we, we used to do, a, they used to do a lot of filming over here. A lot of the stunt actors, part of the alleyway is over there. This ugly eyesore didn't even exist. This is still part of Silverman's back studios. Okay, now I remember. The, <laughs> this alley was famous because we did a lot, uh, we, they shot a lot of the uh, uh, Power Rangers, the Mighty Morphins over here. Short, short characters. You know, they, be, they look so big on TV and stuff like that, but they were just short little actors. But it was fun, all this right here. A lot of filming over there. This building didn't exist. The old Gilbert Hotel. Kind of like the bachelor apartments. We have many of these. Oh, now I can't remember what this was. I do remember that this was a newspaper over here. Yeah. There's the Hollywood Post Office. I bet you folks never thought, oh, the Hollywood Post Office, it's very plain. Yeah, huh? Look at the zip code, 90028. Dun, dun, psh, psh. And the school, well, it's not Beverly Hills, it's Hollywood High, right over there. That's where the filming was. Here's another historical hotel. This is a Mark Twain, I believe? Yeah, the Mark Twain. Bachelor Apartments. What a great little building. I can see they built, finally built this ugly thing. This was uh, maybe halfway constructed during the shutter. Still looks like it has some touching up. Still those copper wirings. Playmates. This used to be uh, back in his day when I was still working out here. This is one of the more exotic, exotic uh, lingerie or costume shops. It was always a kick to walk by and see the new stuff. Used to have a living situation up there. Now this is also the site where we've already had, I believe, two shootings here at this 7-Eleven. Pretty, pretty, pretty bad. There's the Lido Apartments over there. There's the shoe on the light fixture. That indi indicates uh, selling of drugs. Now they did used to have to deter homeless. They used to play classical music over here. They don't any longer, I don't know why, but that was that day that we were here for Earth Day during that evening is when they um, had the incident. See? I do like a lot of the uh, artwork. This one in particular, too. You know, like I said, the worst thing that's going to happen now with the weather, with the weather warming up as it is, uh, it's really, really going to get bad here. Especially July 1st, if things go the way it's kind of presumed that things going to go, I think the economy is going to get really, really sour. I hope it isn't, but... There's the Silo Hotel. This is kind of a... It's not... They don't have it. 
No. It's a great little building though. That one over there, I like that. I like these uh, split with the center entrance. It's kind of majestic, if you will. I like that. Hey, where's the copper wiring? Oh, look, somebody left the copper. Dude, that's money. Do it correctly. I like that because it kind of reminds me a little like a castle-esque type of situation. You got your two big towers on either side, archers and what have you, and in the center you have your drawbridge and entrance to the castle. It's cool though, right? <clears throat> old, the old YMCA building. See, they could, they could turn this into uh, housing for homeless. All these old YMCA buildings. Kind of like the one they want to do in Pasadena in front of the Centennial, right across from the Centennial. They want to turn that into a, an expensive type of shishi uh, hotel. <clears throat> Which I, for one, don't understand. Across the street from that building, the proposed uh, hotel, uh, is the... Uh, the Centennial, the housing for the homeless. It's about, I want to say maybe five, five to seven stories, I think. I think it's about five to seven stories, thereabouts. But yeah, you know. And I got these kind of little funky, yeah, they just, they don't, this the architecture doesn't blend. Because you got something modern over here, and then you have something that's kind of been established and well, well placed. This is the uh, the school, and over here, see, this is the problem. Now again, it's it's not against the homeless. It is against those that choose to be addicted, like Carla. Carla and her family is one that really boggles my mind. There lies in, in front of you, in your situation, the opportunity to do something, firstly with your life, and now that you're taking advantage of breaking all the goddamn fucking rules, excuse me, but now you've brought in your family to do the same thing. Since... November of 2019 to this day on the 25th or 26th of April 23 only one person has done something I think two attempted three uh, times holding a job the youngest son but still all in all come back to our place to do drugs and whatever and Nothing, nothing, not even the granddaughter. You have that mentality of homelessness. And you're still applying it into your everyday life, not even going forward. Never mind the fact that, presumably, for what you're saying is actually true, that you took advantage of unemployment uh, that the government was, was given. You were making eight to $900 a week. Eight to $900 a week. <clears throat> While I'm working at 9.50 an, an hour at Target. And nothing. You, you pissed all that money away. And you didn't even buy at least a decent car. So many... Oh, I mean, Oh. This... Oh, yeah. Wow. We have something also. There it is. Right there. See that globe? <laughs> okay. Come on. Who doesn't want a lighthouse on their own property? You ever wanted to live in a lighthouse? This is, look at this. See, this is the kind of property I would love to invest. Look at that roof, come on. The lines on this building is just ultra sexy. I, yeah, I don't mean it like that, but I mean, I mean it in the sense of Appreciation for craftsmanship. Look at this. 
See, this goes all the way out to the Look at that. That is so cool. I love this. But I want that lighthouse. I want that lighthouse. See? More folks over here. There's that same ugly color scheme. What's become of us? What's become of our country? When I see color like that, it kind of reminds me of, I don't know, like I want to be in the desert. That's not so bad, but you got the architecture to complement the brick and everything and all the lines. There's, there's no character in, in buildings like this. It clashes with this building and it clashes with this, look at this house, this wonderful house over here. Then I guess that's, that's, that's the future that we're headed, you know, and it really started uh, gaining momentum during the, the lockdown. A lot of this, I had seen two buildings that the color scheme was um, a lot more warming, warm, a lot more color. And then during, during the lockdown, a lot of the buildings started, well, the ones that I saw, started switching to this black and white, gray white. I don't know if it's, I, I, don't, I don't know what to make of it. It's all ugly, you know. They're doing some filming over here today. And we got the old, is it the old newsstand over here? Yeah, I think the old newsstand is over on this side. <laughs> Orale, YouTube star! <laughs> There's a... Uh, the cellar. Try not to get hit by a car, huh, Charlie? Awesome restaurant. The spaghetti bolognese on this place is awesome. Um, I will put a link down below for this place. They do have the one in Studio City where I used to go when I lived over there. Yeah, see, they're doing some filming over here. This used to be the old newsstand over here. Ooh, I'm out of breath. And uh, those old pizza boxes were just, wow. Thin, third degree burns, greasy on the bottom. But somehow or another, those old pizza boxes versus like something newer like Papa John's or Domino's tasted better. At least up here it tasted better. Just like having high C or fruit punch in a tin can tasted better. Just like having soda pop in a glass bottle tasted better, you know, etc., etc., etc. I miss. And yes, we have Frankie here. Yum. There's Musso and Frank's. This is the old army surplus shop. This thing has been here for, for years. See, I always try to, I always get confused over here. Ah, uh, I can't even. Ah, uh, this place was hot. Actually, this is one of the better places, actually. So we had this in neon. Uh, we also had the Pet Boys over there. We had the Musso and Franks and Neon, everything. The Vogue and everything. And unless I'm mistaken, I think... Damn. I think we had the Coca-Cola sign right over here. 
smaller, but just like the one in uh, old New York, we had the Coca-Cola, red and white swirling and going all about. But this whole thing, and when I was in high school back in the 80s, nothing but rock and roll shops, heavy metal shops, leather, spikes, everything all about. A couple down there where we used to go, the, uh, <laughs> the one stupid tattoo that I have was over here at a tattoo shop when I was 18. The Vogue was all like everything. Shit, we even we even fucking had a pussycat theater over here, and you know, for whatever purposes, it was always empty and stuff. I remember when uh, I was old enough, we we went into the theater. And it was like okay, just paid uh, two dollars, and let's let's turn around, guys. Yeah, I still think that was the, uh, the old one that we used to frequent, that hot rock. You know, much to my surprise, as I always talk about the Egyptian theater, I just found out it's not really going to be the Grommans. Well, it's no longer since then. Uh, I got to see on a video the inside of the theater. They're taking their sweet time and renovating just as well. It's gonna be a really cool kind of uh, stadium. But this building, Netflix is the one that bought this. Netflix, I think in cooperation with ne uh, Nexstar, they're the ones that are gonna do this. So this is probably gonna be more or less gonna be a Netflix type of a sponsored theater. This was the old pig and whistle. As I've said many a times, uh, great place to have uh, English breakfast, bangers and mash, some ale, and then it got shuttered down, and then it got turned into this, uh, not a very, it's kind of like a Mexican type of, like uh, a Mexican type of thing, but it was, when it was the pig and whistle, this was like the greatest place to get pissed. I mean, totally fucking ripped. Now it's Mr. Tempo. Look at all the neon. It's just... It's just shit. It's just really shit. I love that building right there. That was uh, the old Hollywood Bank. The Museum of Illusions. Kind of fitting, right? Illusions, Hollywood, make-believe. TV Guide. Eh. Bet you younger folks don't even know what TV Guide was. Or is. Do they still have that? The Musicians Institute. It's cool because during the summertime, they sometimes play. Like we had a chance, was it last year when we got that? Uh-oh. Something's going on over there. Terrible intersection. And this is where the celebrities get out for the red carpet treatment. Oh, got it. Oh, shit, it hurts just to walk through here. Oh, it's Fill the Boot campaign. Oh, that's what that is. Okay. They do this every so often. Fill this boot. Let me look at the boot. Fill that boot. Oh, thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, guys. Awesome. It is.
still Wednesday morning and it's it's busy my friends it is just packed it's gonna get warm today Saturday is gonna be the highest uh, for the week locally here I think we're supposed to top off nearly 87 88 in the valley and in the high desert forget it uh, just bring a, a lot of water bottles and stuff like that and then Sunday we're supposed to cool down a little bit we're supposed to get a marine layer possibility of rain we are coming into May, so the whole May gray thing, and then the June gloom. But nonetheless, a couple of days here and there of cool weather is going to be welcome because once the summer heat gets here, oh, crime it's going to be so bad. Attitudes also, you know, tempers will flare. Oh, it looks like they're replacing those. They should just kind of take them out. Oh. Cam catch a bottle, empty bottle up there on top. Wow, the nice. Yeah. You guys know that we're expected to have the serious avian flu now. Supposedly, there's a lot of birds that are dropping here and there, dead, out of nowhere, trees and stuff like that. Pasadena here locally, I don't see no dead pigeons. And of course, you know that we have, we have parrots in Pasadena, ne'er a dead parrot, woodpecker, mockingbird, homing pigeon, nothing. So, fuck all that bird flu shit. Don't buy into it. Because it's mainly showing up right now in the pol poultry industry. Say hi to the tourists. Hi, tourists. I mean, I'm not sure I hate the day wait. Wait a minute. Who's in the fishbowl? Are they in the fishbowl or are we in the fishbowl? Don't really have a desire to watch that or Avatar. So here... Well, we actually um, had a stabbing uh, two, three weeks ago, and uh, it's it's kind of bad because now it's 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 had its nicknames. This whole the Walk of Shame has that's it's always had its Holly Weird, uh, the Weird. It's just had, but now more and more because of everything that's happening, the shootings, the stabbings. Uh, last year we had a. Uh, we had a shooting over at a at a supper club or a, a dinner restaurant over there. It's everywhere. There's still the uh, the thing there. Uh, even Don, the uh, Hollywood self-proclaimed ambassador, you know, he said, you know, it. Unfortunately, now it's more like instead of the Hollywood Walk of Fame, it's the Hollywood Walk of Shame, and rightfully so with everything that we've had. You know, come on, Karen Bass, what are you doing? You know, you're you're coming up into five months of office. What the fuck are you doing? Why did everybody take away our police? Why did they defund the police? near Hollywood and Highland and he says the impact of two shootings over the weekend are damaging business even more. I hear tourists say not the walk of fame, the walk of shame. I mean it's gotten that bad. When we ask tourists whether they feel safe, yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. but you get a much different response from those working and living out here among the crowds day after day. It's not safe. It's not safe to be near the cops. Near not safe. He says stealing from his hat kiosk is a daily occurrence. Donovan says you can see tourism is down by counting the empty seats on the tour buses. We'd be full by 10 o'clock. Now it's got, it's, sometimes we're empty because people, they're, they're afraid. Two, sh two different shootings in a week, that's I've, unprecedented. I've seen gambling, I've seen uh, shooting, fighting, stealing from CVS and Target and all kinds of Hollywood Boulevard. This was never like this 30 years ago I've been here. 
Donovan says the area needs more cops, that their presence isn't what it used to be. I miss the police. I really miss the police being out here. And he's making this plea to the city and the mayor. Mayor Bass, please hire more police. We need it in Hollywood. And we have seen officers patrolling here this afternoon, reassuring for those who work out here who just want to feel safe. In Hollywood, Sarah Welch, KTLA 5 News. That was a great show. Okay, we're ready to go. Okay, I have a I'll be there. All right, yeah, if you want to stay here, you want to pay your money up front. Julie Andrews. Sid Grauman. And where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where, 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 where is it? Oh, here we go. So many, at least um, for now, tradition is still being upheld. They're still doing this. Huh? Oh, I'm a local. <laughs> Ooh, hey, great day. Que será, será? Everything is dear shit. Pretty much everything. That was the uh, that was the director back then. Directors had uh, prize and prestige back then because movies were about an art, not about making money, not about okay, next project, next project. Everything was eclectic. Nowadays, it's crap. Everybody photographs everything and I'm photographing the tourists, so this is, like I said, who's in the fishbowl? Are they in the fishbowl or are we in the fishbowl? All right, let's bypass this foot traffic. If you ever want to avoid that, come this way. Whew, it's getting warm. This is like the newest thing that's coming. Want some info? There you go. It should be kind of interesting. I'd, this is one in particular I, I wouldn't mind seeing. Don't wave at me. I don't know you. She laughing me? Yeah, we were just here last week. There's some parking information for y'all. If you are headed out this direction, as always, please, 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 be careful. Pay mind where you are. Pay, pay, pay a mind of your surroundings. I know you're tourists. I know you're going to be tourists unless you're reoccurring tourists and you pretty much 
know the layout of the land and everything and what to do but things as of recently if you hear on the news if they're reporting on such things and I couldn't even imagine why they couldn't just please be careful I know that there's a lot of other youtubers out there uh, especially in the media that are saying um, no don't come to California don't come to Los Angeles I'm not gonna do that I, I, I come but I'm not gonna disillusion you also and saying oh yeah you're perfectly safe or whatever I don't want to set anyone up if you're gonna come out here come out here but again just be aware of your surroundings and everything and as always you know uh, check out the parking uh, check out the parking situation in the city or wherever you're gonna end up going to visit if you're staying at a hotel um, if you can afford to my recommendation <laughs> I can't afford to, but if I could, uh, stay at the hotel or park at the hotel and then maybe take an Uber or whatever or uh, get yourself a tap card for the bus systems out here and uh, utilize the mini micro uh, MTA bus. It's more of a personal shuttle. It's more of a personal shuttle. Uh, and it, it takes you a little bit more more direct but also um, just just please please be careful when you come out here and into Hollywood being around crowds like this isn't too bad it's sometimes in the evening when things things tend to occur you know uh, but then again given the time of day or whatever the mentality of the person that's going to be doing no nothing good you never know Whew, that's loud see even this building could be utilized for uh for housing for the homeless it's been empty for decades That was is, it. Is it gone? <laughs> the Taco Bell Cantina? Yeah, is it gone? I think it's still there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. This is the Snow White Cafe. <laughs> and this is also a definite place you guys should check out. Check out this place right here. Uh, check out the one across the street. <laughs> I guess I should have my own uh, touring company. <laughs> He uh, he had the he had the ice cream shop correct. The ice cream shop's back over here, and then <laughs> the Taco Bell. Oh, that's so funny. I I love helping out people. But I do. This is also a really cool place. I have not been there, admittedly, but it has a lot of trippy uh, optical illusions and stuff like that. I think there's one that's opening up in uh, New York that's kind of like. The big thing I saw it on the news uh, last weekend and stuff like that. Let me show you the the pricing range here. And it's like you guys are just now getting that. We've we've had this forever. It's really cool. Just from the videos alone that I've seen, is it looks like it's a lot of fun. There we go. Let's do this. Cool. Thank you. Then we had an, we had a, well, here we go. I hope those guys uh, enjoy themselves. We'll get to here one day. It'll be here forever. We had those Metro bikes in Pasadena, two stations uh, in Pasadena and one in South Pasadena, electric bikes. Now they were, they were really cool and stuff like that. Uh, but the problem was that in Pasadena, it didn't really take off too much. We had one in front of the Centennial 
over by Centennial Square. And then we had another one, oh, I think over on the east side of Pasadena. It just, it just, we didn't really need it though. It was kind of cool and refreshing, but Pasadena is already a very, very bike friendly city. So everybody pretty much had their, their own. Oh, we have a memorial over here. He starred in the first ever all cast black movie, Carmen Jones. Thank you. I'll look. I'm on my way to the library. That was no. that was he. Yes. I didn't know that. It was the all and back and that was back in the day. Yeah. All black. The only first all black cast movie, Carmen Jones. Wow. That yeah. one, what, what years was that? Do you know the. Shoot, I think 40? 48? 48 though, that's Late 40s. good. Late 40, yeah. That's about but, the same time Jackie Robinson made the Dodgers, about that time yes, things correct. were changing. And yeah, he set the president. He he was there with uh, with uh, JFK, I believe, and okay. and uh, Dr. Martin. That's right. Yeah. Well, he, was, he was there on the, you know, actually, he, he, the only time I ever saw him, I was arrested with him once. He was on the White House steps, well, not arrested with him. He, I saw him. He arrested before me when Cindy Sheehan was being arrested in 2000. It's, it's one thing that I'm very, very happy and very grateful and very humbled and very blessed that I can still keep up and have that with, with homeless folks. Whereas a lot that do get housed, I, I got one or two friends. I got one or two friends that, you know, once... And I don't blame them, and I don't blame anything on a homeless person that doesn't want to have anything to do with, with other homeless that don't want to interact me. I still do. I just... Because, you know, as, as I was telling that gentleman, his name is Mitchell. Great guy. You know, I may be in transitional housing, but I don't know how long it's going to last. I don't know if one day I'm going to wake up and gonna get a phone call you know hey Charlie blah, blah blah or whatever so why why should I end up being that way just because I got housed and turn my nose up to where I came from where I was where I struggled you know so and I'll tell you one thing there's no way that that Carla can can be this way with people like this. Not with her temperament. She can. She just does. She doesn't have the mentality. She. She really, really does think that she's better than than everybody else. She certainly, certainly thinks that she's better than than Dion and I. And she's always berating and always trying to look to put the blame on us. And oh, you guys are pigs. You guys are always fucking with me. You always calling the police on me and stuff like that. All right. Oh, look at this one. Look at this one. Look at this one. That's cool. They got some great glass in here. Holy cow. They got some beautiful glass. <laughs> 50 bucks. That's not bad. Crest. I think that was a, uh, yeah, that was a department store, Crest. Building's still there. Chakakan! Kaylee Kuko. William Shatner's daughter. Peter Lorre. Cesar Romero Joker Lawrence Welk So yeah, this is the uh, the Reda bikes Like I said, they were kind of a failed project in Pasadena You just uh, 
follow the instructions, sign in your credit card or whatever, however you're going to pay it. Those are the longer term rates. Yeah, they just, um, they just didn't really, they just really didn't do well. I actually never got a chance to try it, but, you know. The pie house. See, this is, we, this, this, we can't do this. We shouldn't have to. I love this building too. gone car so yeah this is kind of one of these ooh the phone's starting to overheat kind of these trippy streets kind of like over on the back of Franklin over there kind of wraps around that way it's massive it's huge the Hillview apartments <laughs> you view apartments. I like that bunny logo. Oh, I got them. Still my favorite. Los burritos. The caldo. The br it's just good, good food. Someone getting an enema? Oh. He has one of the best Hollywood laughs. And up over yonder is the Lido again. Pretty much shrimp. Full circle. And again with the Unfortunate 7-Eleven. Yeah. Uh, if we don't... I know, probably some folks <laughs> on this... Watching this are... Aren't you kind of worried? Yeah. Yes and no. Um, I don't know. If I were to get shot or attacked or anything and and survive, <laughs> if anything, it might boost. <laughs> oh, that's a sick thing. But why walk around stressing out and worry? Oh my God, someone's behind me. Oh, that guy's carrying a gun. He's got a knife. Yeah, you know, you you can't you can't live in fear. You have to get the hell out. You know. That's why, I mean, when I get home, I, the fear is there, yeah, but that's why I get out so I can get out of that mindset. Uh, I think the entire planet was in fear for damn well nearly two fucking years. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Those are awesome. You know, we just, why, why finally leave your house only to come back out in public into fear? This doesn't make sense. <clears throat> I'm not saying don't believe anything. Yes, I am. Don't listen to that shit. Do your own research. Don't really listen to the mindless, stupid media. 
go online, do your own homework. I'm of the old school that when we wanted to go do research, we went to the library, we went to the index cards. I still know how to operate the Dewey Decimal System. It's not that fucking hard. Don't rely on MSN. Get out there, stop watching the big, big medias. Check out everything on the internet. <laughs> Stay away from the dark web though, definitely. Because actually in the long run, that there describes mainstream media. You know, I, I was noticing that when we were walking by the, the surplus store, they were putting sheets of black tar uh, tarp. I wonder if they're gonna do something with it or they're closing it down. I really hope they don't close that place down. I don't know what the fuck this is. I've always seen it. Uh, internet radio, I guess. I don't know. Personally, it lo oh, it looks stupid. This is Cosmo Street. Cosmo Street. Another Scientology building. The Scientologists own quite a bit of real estate here in Hollywood, all the way down to Little Armenia. This one, the one back that away. Uh, there's several other small buildings. But have it. Sinful Pizza. I only want to try it once just because of the name. Because it's marketing. It's, it's good marketing. Just like uh, that canned drink, Liquid Death. Very cool. That's not too bad. Woo, boys. Woo. Look, Mark. <laughs> Mark, look, look. Pepperoni or pineapple pizza. Andale, así, gracias. Slice, slice, baby. <laughs> Several of us got a bit of a debate on Facebook the other night about politics. <laughs> Going back and forth. Just when you think someone's got the last word, someone else has to. So I just, uh, I had just ended, I just ended the conversation and just decided not to respond to you guys. Uh, it's just better. But it's good that, you know, friends of opposite ends of whatever spectrum can debate. A little bit of temperament argument, but you know what? In the long run, you just walk away and then resume the next time. Hey, it's no big deal. That's good. Not like Congress or like Parliament or any of the... Uh, other countries where they're actually like fisticuffies in whatever Congress or Parliament, you know, it's like, well, shit, whatever, whatever their sense of decorum in their houses, uh, if they can do that, why are they uh, looking bad at common folks when they're uprising and stuff like that? So, like, if Congress is going to get in a fist fight or Parliament, well, then shit, they're just showing the people, whatever of their people, that, hey, it's okay, it's totally permissible. It's, it's the Pineapple Express. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, Pineapple Express. No samples, though? Come on, Pineapple. So right here, uh, Hollywood and Vine. And if you are visiting out here for the first time or reoccurring, this is the Pineapple Express. Uh, admittedly, I've only been here once, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty doggone cool. La Piña Rápida. Ah, uh, there's my bus, oh well. 
it's pretty frequent over here about every 15 minutes and it's right over there right by amoeba see that's where the amoeba records is that used to be over there keep walking around pineapple i'm gonna smoke you and over here at this uh the red line is where we had a uh, I wish that they hadn't shut that Starbucks down. Hollywood Burgers. I do kind of want to see the Wiz. Because I want to see if it's how close it is or how far removed it is from the actual movie. I love the movie. The movie was great. So this is where uh, about a month ago. We had a stabbing here, down there below, and it kind of carried. But the good thing is that, for the most part, we do have uh, sometimes police officers over here. But uh, again, just be careful of your surroundings. Couldn't have been quicker. Freezing on the bus. Had my my coat on and my beanie on. It's about 77 right now. I just saw in my uh, Citizen app that uh, about a half hour ago. Well, actually, when we were on the bus, there was a shooting down. Another, yeah, even in Pasadena, shooting. Like I had said previously, we had uh, I think one or two uh, robberies of jewelry robberies over here for I think per, private residents and that's in the uh, million dollar row of the old apartments over there the more affluent um, part of Pasadena right where the uh, parade route starts by the uh, the Wrigley house it just <laughs> progressively gets worse progressively left Gets worse. Oh yeah, this 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 warmth. Oh god, this feels good. That's like the really bad downside of being anemic is I get cold so easily. Oh, this is what's. Oh yeah, this is what I have. Here, check this out. I have tickets for this for this weekend. There should be. Oh, check this out. I got tickets for this event here this Saturday. Plus, we have the um, Jackalope Arts Festival this weekend in uh, Central Park. Let's say hi to. I like this little wrap around here. This this place in the evening time, in the hot summer summer evening, <clears throat> it's nice. The trees are lit up with the lights and everything. It makes for a pleasant walk after dinner. You and your significant other, like for example, see.
All right, my friends, we'll end it here. We'll, we'll wrap it up. But it is going to be a lot hotter this Saturday, which is perfect because we got quite a bit of things happening here this weekend. You folks take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but always take care of yourselves first. Love one another, trust one another, be kind to each other, help one another. Don't take today for granted or any other day thereafter. Live for the moment, pull down your pants and slide on that ice. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing, we're doing, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification button. Tell your friends and family about me, about us, what's going on in. Yeah. We can't have four more years of this crap. I'd like to see things go back. Well, things are never going to go back the way they were, correct? But we certainly can bring back civility, law and order. Uh... Get a little bit of uh, calming down things within our society, especially the racial divide. Started hearing that shit three years ago. I was like, yeah, I don't fucking like what they're doing. Prostituting of the races, prostituting of the immigrants, prostituting of the homeless. And when I say prostituting, I mean using them. We can't be doing that kind of shit to each other. Not here in the United States of America. No fucking way. No fucking way. Comments, good or bad, please post. If not, email. I love you all. Stay safe. Be nice. I know, I know. Be kind.